admit it, your bender grid looks just like every other one. It doesn't have the wow factor it needs. How can you make your bender grid stand out from the rest? Discover the secrets of a bender grid that stands out and becomes the benchmark of web design excellence. Let's elevate your web design game using GreenShift for WordPress, where every grid has the potential to become a masterpiece. Let's not just follow the trends, let's set them. Before we dive into some examples, let's understand what bender grid is. Bender grid gets its name from the Japanese bento box and it delivers bite-sized small chunks of information. It's used by big companies like Apple, DJI and Procreate. Bento grid specific design features are boxes with a lot of spacing between them. They have great visuals and small chunks of text. Let's see some examples and discover why these are great. The first example is from Glorify. You see a very common bento grid and when you hover each section you will see that there is a gradient going on. Letting the user know on which section they are hovering. There's also some nice little interaction with a button coming in when you hover over a section. The next one, pun intended, is Next.js. You can see some tiny little animations going on and when you hover over a section you will see that they either speed up or do something unexpected which makes this fun to interact with. I really love this one where the dots will write down next. Another example is this one from create.video where a lot of animations are going on but they are just well enough designed that it doesn't overwhelm the user. As an added bonus you can also hover over each card and a little animation will happen. Next up is from Blitz. It, I really like these gradient blocks. It breaks up the grid itself. And secondly you can interact with a section as well. Here you have a checklist and the user can interact with it by pressing the buttons. Get a very satisfying checklist animation going on. There's another one from Live Blocks where they have all kinds of animations going on telling a whole story. And what I like about this one is when you hover over a section, you will see it getting the spotlight. You also see a spotlight following the mouse and this is a very nice edit effect. Then we have the one from linear.app and here you see some animations going on and you can interact also with some of the sections that really levels up the bento grid. You can even see how their command line would work and type in and search, add labels. And this is a fun little interaction to get a feeling on how, what linear does and how it works. And lastly, the one bento grid most of you guys probably have seen is the one from Diagram. It is very nicely layout, no fancy animations going on by default except for the glowing part particles here and some glowing particles here. But as you can see, when you hover over each card, some animation will happen. And it feels a little bit like a fidget toy. I can do this forever. Before we dive in how you can create it yourself, hit the subscribe button to get more of these kinds of videos. So to summarize, these bento grid examples have a fidget toy like feeling. You can interact with some parts of the bento grid and have some small kinds of animations going on, which makes them feel dynamic and fun to interact with. Let's get to the fun part and create it ourselves. You can find pre-made sections in the description down below. And if you're scrolling by, you can just as well hit the like button and you follow along with the video. So let's get to it. So let's download the pre-made sections. You go to this link, it's the link in the description. And when you visit, you will be visiting my store. You can select a fair price you would like to pay. And if you don't want to pay anything, that's fine as well. You just press zero and press I want this. And now you will get it. And here you have the instructions what you need to do. You will press download and we will download to your computer. So here we have it. And here is the extracted file. Now you open level up your Bento grid code in Notepad. And there we have our code. Let's copy and paste everything. Then go to our WordPress dashboard and then add a new post. Click code editor, paste it in, exit, and there you have your Bento grid. So this is the pre-made section and let's try to spice it up a little bit. Uh, the first I would like to start with the diagram section. I want this to be gone for now and we will put it in later on. 
So for the diagram, I want to have the same animation you see in the diagram website as well. Um, so let's change how the stars are positioned first. Uh, this can be negative 20, um, maybe even more. Negative 40 pixels is a little bit too much. And let's shift it down a little by 20 pixels. Maybe a little bit less. There we have our first repositioned star. So next we would like to have an animation that the star, just like the diagram website, goes outwards and inwards when we hover the card. So to do that, we want that to happen when we hover over this container. And to get the class of this container, I usually do it like this. I select the container just below it. Go to Advanced in the CSS Transform Transition and then click here to get the parent class. This then I will copy. And because we want it to happen on the star and not on the container, we just paste it in the Advanced this is a strength from section and then the hover class. And now we need to change values, what we would like to happen. And shift X means it will flow outwards. And there we go. The star is now gone. Um, we also would like to have it rotate a little bit. That it looks a little bit nicer. Let's change the values a little bit more. And have also a slight shift and uh, maybe upwards is nicer and let's scale it down by a little very tiny amount now we can do the exact same one for, now we can do the same one for the second icon so let's go to the ad icon advanced CS transform and then the hover based in our Hover parent, then add a change in value for the uh, x axis. So this one can be bigger. So now it also goes away. And let's change the value for shift. So it moves downwards. And perhaps I would even like it to move a little bit upwards. So that looks nicer. Let's also rotate that one and have a scale of 1.8 so it scales down a little bit but not too much so there we have our first hover animation the next part is getting the css grid containers so this section to come inwards so what we want is that it starts without this section so we do that in advanced again and then see as transform so before we change anything in the hover section we want to change the default state and it needs to be away from the card and let's set it to percentage so this is 200 percent of the cards width and let's rotate it ever so slightly when uh, it will come in so now it will have a rotation of minus 10 let's change the values we want to be the same trigger so the parent needs to be the same trigger let's copy and paste the class here we go and then go to your fonts this says transitions here we select the hover this is the class we want to interact with the position is zero, rotation is zero, but zero can't be set. So we have to do point one and then set it very low. And there we have our nice animation. I think this is a little bit fast, so we can change the values of the min percentage. Look at that. That already looks awesome. So for our next section, I want to have a spotlight effect like we saw in one of the examples. So 
Let's open that one up. And here we have the animation container. In the animation container, you have a lot of options to create different kinds of animations. But the one we are interested in, interested in right now is the mouse follow. It needs to clip to the object. I want it to be at 0.5 and the Z index of 1. So that will be a slight kind of overlay. And let's set when it needs to trigger. And it needs to trigger when we have hovered over this section. So we select that one and insert container. And if we update, you will see a nice spotlight effect with an overlay. So for the next one, I want to change the carousel. We have our images here that are also included in the uh, zip file. So if you haven't already, you can upload them and change the images if you like to. For the slider carousel itself, we will change uh, some settings. So first off, we change the speed to 12,000. We want to loop and autoplay it. We don't want to disable after interactions because we want to continuously loop. Um, next, we would like this one to be centered and have a free mode with a linear transition transition and also an auto height. We don't want any delays between the auto plays, so just can continue. Next, I want to remove the arrows and the bullets. So that looks much better already. And then let's change space between can be same. And then we show the items per row. I want this one to be as less as possible so that we can change values here. So there's our first infinite animation for the carousel. And on the second one, I just want a little bit different. So we this will be the same 12,000 loop out of play disable for after interactions. We want don't want the center mode. We do want the free mode and a linear transition. We also want the auto hide and we don't want any breaks between the auto plays. Also for this one, we set the spacing very low and disable the arrows and navigation bullets. So there we have our infinite scrolling there going well as well. And let's change the values here as well. So now we have this section, we have a nice mouse follow and we have an infinite scrolling uh, slider or carousel. Next, I want this section to be more interactive. Uh, so let's change the background when you hover. And this can be simply done by going to background and then click hover. This looks good. So let's copy that one that we keep a consistent look and feel. And paste it in everywhere we would like to add the hover effect. Now we have changed that this one on hover shows. Here we have a spotlight effect. We have some interactions going on here. And this is an infinite slider. So let's have a look how it looks on the website itself. So here we have our spotlight, our carousels going on. Here's the diagram animation we have seen before. And here we have a hover section. Now let's look how it will look on mobile. So let's decrease the size. And as you can see, this doesn't look good. And even on tablet, I would argue that it isn't the best option. So let's change it to make it more responsive. So let's select our CSS grid containers, collapse everything, and then move to tablet. Now in tablet mode, I think it would look nice if this grid has three columns instead of four. So let's change this one to be three columns. There we go. And we have already something nice, but I see some things 
that are not so nice so let's change that one up and play around with the positioning of those sections so this looks much interesting so there we have our section yeah i am think i'm happy with how this looks right now so let's update and see it in our live view So this is our four column and won't change to our three column. So let's see what's up. So to fix it, I opened up grid and instead of allow overlap, I close this one, press update and then it worked. So as you can see right now, it will change to two columns on tablet and this looks pretty neat if you ask me so next let's do the same thing for mobile and make everything just one column so let's change the setting to mobile and change the grid to be one fr just one column and that already looks like we how we would like to have it and let's update refresh the page and here's our mobile section. We can still change the grid if we would like to, but I am happy actually with how it looks right now. So here we have a responsive bento grid. It's even more interesting than what we have started out with. Now you know how you can level up your bento grid, but you also need a way to create it yourself. So watch this video in where I explain step by step how you can create your bento grid. And if you're still watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more of these kinds of videos. Catch you on the next one. Keep designing.